Bye, New York. I won't see you today. Maybe next week. Be back. Cheers. We're starting off on the right foot this time. We're at our first tasting and we forgot our microphones. Well, I apologize in advance for the quality of this video, but... I'll just yell. You will just yell. The view is good though, so that's all we really need. I feel like in a nap Make block. it a moment of zen. A moment of zen. A moment of tranquility and peace. I'm excited. We're not going to any repeats this time. All new wineries. Everyone that we're going to is a new one, I think. Yeah. It's exciting. Oh, this is really pretty. Oh, wow. Getting misted. Wow, that's really cool. Wow, this view is sick. What a guy, look at this pic. The record, fortunately, didn't want to come here. I didn't want to come here. But I'm so glad that we're here. The website does not do it justice. Look at you. Yeah, what a time. <laughs> wow. Wow. All I can say is wow. There's my guy. So excited. A chocolate and wine pairing always gets me. Foolishly though. Oh, I got the one with ham, because I know you said you wanted to try the ham. Two bottles of Cab. Ooh. 2019 Cabernet Sauvignon from Mount Vider, Napa Valley. I Don't drop it. it on the Don't drop it. That was bad. Go overboard. No, we didn't. Like we did last time. Because a lot of the time we go home and it just it doesn't taste as good on the couch in New Jersey as it does when you're looking. Yeah, that's true. At this view. Good pick. And it's close to downtown, so if someone's visiting, it's a good place to hit up. It is. Very good. Well, let's score this one right now. Yeah. Okay, let's do so it. property. Oh my god. Three out of three? Yeah, it's beautiful. Staff. Three. We like Victor? We're gonna give him three? What do you want to give Victor? I probably only would have given Victor a two, but that's just me. Okay, so give Victor a two. Is everything out of a three? Yeah. I'd uh, give the wine a two. Oh, there he is. Wine's two. I'd give the wine a two. Did he give us any extras? Yes, he gave us. He an gave extra us. Pour. Yeah, we love an extra pour. And and he didn't charge us for the olives either. I really like this bottle. Yeah, hold on. It's very pretty. What did you think about today? What a time! Dude, the weather was great. The weather was great. Ooh. My best girl, my only girl. I was gonna say. <laughs> How many girls you got? What about dinner? No, dinner's a no for me, dog. So we went to, what was it? The Slanted the Door? The Slanted Door, which is very popular. And the food was... It was fresh. It tasted very fresh. It was good ingredients. It just wasn't my palate. I just don't think we're big Vietnamese. Plus we got tricked because the menu online yeah. was a lot 
wider. Broader. It was. There were oysters. I really wanted the oysters. It was a lot more diverse. Yeah. And then we overheard the waitress telling the table next to us that that menu is only for lunch. Is that what she said? Yeah, she said all those soups that we saw and all those other appetizers are only on the lunch menu. A false advertisement. Yeah, amen. I feel like the wine wasn't intriguing enough to go back to Artessa. The yeah, view was nice. I mean, yeah, I don't know. There's plenty of vineyards you could go to that you could probably pay a little bit less for a tasting and get the same quality wine. I think if you want to go there for the view one time, you should totally go there. What, the tasting the was, was 105? Amazing. The cheaper one was 75, right? The cheapest but one it didn't was come 70. with any food. We had the imported ham from Spain. Yeah. Hamon. Hamon. The ham was good, I thought. The bread was really good, I thought. Good. The stuffed olives were the best, I thought. Then we got stuffed olives. So what was your favorite at dinner tonight, though? The spring rolls. The pork and shrimp spring roll. I liked the yellowtail. That was my favorite by far. I mean, the first thing that we came out was the yellowtail. It looked really good. It was really good. I mean, it looks good for somebody that like likes that sort of thing. Uh, Yummy. I'm not a fish, fish guy. Person, so it's not happening You're not for a me, fishy. but you said it was good. It was really good. The second thing looked like white jello with cat food on well, it. Well, it was like a decomposed, or not decomposed, that's a terrible word. <laughs> deconstructed. <laughs> it was like a deconstructed. It looked decomposed. It looked like when Brogan throws up on the basement floor. Yeah, it, it was... What was that? What was it supposed to be? That was like supposed to be like a dumpling type It was thing. a dumpling. But it, there was no dumpling about right. it. It was, it like, was a like a flat slab of jello. Yeah. Thin. Okay. It was a thin No, jello. my stomach is turning as you say and that. And it had like friskies on top of it. It was kind of like frisky tasting. I mean, oh. the spring rolls were delicious. I feel very parched, though. I feel like the, there was a lot of salt in that. Yeah, food. I agree with that, too. Yeah, and I'm the very ribs, were, ribs were tasty, the ribs were but massive. they were, like, soaked in, like, a barbecue sauce that just wasn't for me. I like a drier rib. All right, so we're not into that. We're not going to go back there. But it's so it's so sad that we're not into it, though, because it's literally right around the corner from the hotel. And it gets very good reviews, and it's always, always packed. Always packed. So it's just, I think Maybe it's, it's us. Palette. Maybe yeah. it's us. Yeah. Now we're going to go to bed. I'm very tired. Sleepy time. Long day. Will you wash my face for me? I wish I could, but I can't. You could, though. Oh, I mean, yeah. technically. <laughs> okay. See you in the AM. Uh, that's the finders. The finders? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, my beauties. I don't know if I ever said welcome to Napa in this vlog, but I'm hoping that it's obvious by the title of this video and also by the shots that I have um, taken of the beautiful vineyard, winery, landscape. I'm upset that I forgot my microphone, but we must muscle on and I want this to be an amazing vlog. My my travel vlogs are my favorite vlogs and looking back i always wish that i had vlogged more so i'm really really hoping this time i'm gonna take you for every single little thing that we do so today is thursday it is my first well our first full day in napa how we get to napa is we fly from new york city area we fly out of newark because i'm in new jersey to san francisco and then once we get to san francisco we take a car the car usually takes about an hour and a half to get here we woke up yesterday at six no that's a lie I woke up at 5 a.m. yesterday and then by the time we got to the hotel it was two o'clock California, so 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. So it's like a 12 hour journey, but well worth it. And I'm so excited because we are here from Wednesday to Monday, so we have like a really good chunk of time. We did one winery yesterday, which was Artesa, which is a Spanish winery. They import a lot of Spanish food. I think some of their wines are from Spain. Mike picked it because to be honest, I have nothing against Spanish wine. I live for a Tempranillo. I like wines from all over the world, but in my brain, it's like when I'm in Napa, I drink Napa wine. The wines were okay. There was one wine that was like really, really good. So we bought two and I don't know, for some reason we didn't have them shipped because our host at Artessa was telling us that maybe we can collect wines throughout our journey because last time we bought like an obscene amount of wines for us, I think. I think we bought like 40 something bottles of wine. So the guy was saying like, you can have your hotel ship it or you can go to a shipper in California and probably 
ship at a cheaper rate. We stay at the River Terrace Inn nine out of 10 times when we stay here. It's just such a beautiful property. Although I feel like this time it feels not as luxe for a few reasons I'll get there. It's like literally on the Napa River. You guys would have seen if you have watched my previous Napa vlogs, but I will obviously show you in this vlog because I'm showing you literally everything that we're doing. It's beautiful, you could take a stroll. They have a little like fire pits outside. You could sit there at night, all day, any time of the day. Last night, Mike and I literally slept with the fireplace on all night long last time when we stayed here we stayed in the nicest room i think that the hotel has like literally when you log into their website to get the wi-fi it is the picture of the room that we stayed in last time but the fireplace didn't work it was a little upsetting because i cannot tell you how tranquil it is to go to sleep with a gas lit fireplace it is chef's kiss it looks like the room that we stayed in last time just a little bit smaller and there's no nook which i'm a little sad that there's no nook but it's okay we got here they didn't offer us like the complimentary wine that we always get although i know that we get it because i was just reading like the little welcome pamphlet that they gave us and it says that we get the welcome wine complimentary wine you know if it's free it's for me baby i want to sit outside and have it like we did in my last vlog where mike and i like talked about all of our napa experiences but like mike and i were saying like this trip is the first trip that we're doing here where we're not repeating a single vineyard so far so good our tessa was beautiful beautiful stunning gorgeous oh my god the views were unbelievable yesterday we did one tasting today we're only doing one tasting i have not been drinking at all it's good that we're doing one today as well as one yesterday because i'm like easing myself into it today we're going to mayakama so i'm very excited and then i think we're going to dinner at let me check my calendar i'm very organized on this trip okay okay so we have mayakama at 11 30 a.m and then we're going to bistro don giovanni neither one have we ever been to so you bet your bottom we will report back and i'm also trying to not eat as much cheese on this trip. I mean, I love the cheese. I love the wine. I feel like when you're on vacation and you're in Napa, it's to each their own. You're on vacation, live it up, girlfriend. But I cannot tell you how many times I come back from this trip and I just feel terrible. So I'm trying to eat a little bit more protein, a little bit more fiber and like mix the cheese in there. Not that you needed to know any of this, but if you are someone that is planning to come to Napa, I am just here to give you my Napa experience. Also recommend doing like two tastings a day maximum. Oh, and I also recommend not drinking at dinner. Go to our tastings during the day and then at dinner I get like a Diet Coke or last night we got um, a Vietnamese tea, like just no alcohol at dinner, I guarantee you, because a lot of the times the alcohol at dinner is what sends you over the edge. So just a tip from me to you, I'm gonna get dressed, I'm gonna work out, it's gonna be a beautiful day. I'll show you my outfit, we'll do all the things that we do, but we're just doing it in Napa. Mm. I can't, I'm trying to like take a breath and like realize where I am because this is the happiest place and I just want to savior every moment. I just feel like this place makes me feel like overwhelmed sometimes, but in like the best way. I don't want to be go, go, go. I want to enjoy. I want to like preserve and love each moment and just spend a really nice, a really nice time with my husband. Oh, hi, I know you. Hey. Good morning. Cheers. Good morning. Your sexy ass and wine and coffee. And a sausage patty. Like the last time I had it, it was like cold since so I was working out. Wow. That's really good. He said this is the Italian vineyard with all the olive trees. Oh, it's so pretty here. No, we should take a selfie and we should also, well, I should also learn how to read an email and take it seriously because I can't believe that our Uber, we got really lucky with how nice he is. Yeah, I agree. He's really nice. He has guy. to wait here we for should, us. He, we should, well, he doesn't have to. He offered to. Well, um, we asked him to. Yes. All right, I'm excited. Cheers. Oh, you finished your wine? Damn, you, you are did. a fast drinker, boy. I thought you did. I also would like some water here. Let me take this. I like this. It's good, maybe. Okay, we should ask him while he's getting the ATV ready. Wow, it is like so pretty here. You should film while we're It's in like the Tuscany. ATV. Look at those Tuscan trees. I should go stand by the M for a picture. Babe, I'm going to be honest with you though, there's a ton of bees. You see all those bees? Yes, I would 
Okay, we'll do a picture real quick. affected by the 2017 um, fire that started on the north end of Sonoma, which is that general direction. Wow. There were 90 mile an hour winds that knocked over a faulty power line and then essentially that ignited oh a flame that then the high winds carried and made it kind of like leapfrog through the whole mountain range here. So mm, we're really fortunate terrible. though because we didn't end up losing too much given the circumstances. We lost about 10% of our total vineyards, the ones that were closest to like the forest fire. Mm -hmm. But what we did is that we pruned those um, vines and then we grafted from a healthier vine onto the rootstock mm. of that um, damaged vine so then that way we can get um, like a more faster uh, growth from them so uh, last year we used a first year's growth of those vines so we're almost back at full production so nice. yeah what um, fire was that 17 so from 17 it was the um, tubs fire the, okay yeah and then uh, essentially we won't take um, tend to any of the dead trees unless they fall into our road. Uh -huh. uh, just because the root systems of these dead trees will help compact the ground and prevent erosion, so they're very vital even though mm. dead. Oh, wow. Because um, the, the soil up here is very loose, volcanic soil. Yeah. When it rains also, we're in the um, clouds, so we do see two times the amount of rainfall up here. Uh, so wow. erosion is a huge challenge. <laughs> Past the bay. 
like so pat, like the body of water south yep. Pablo bay would be below and then there's a little bit of a haze on top and then yeah. southwest would be like you can see one little spire like peeking through the fog or okay. the haze that's the south end of san francisco the financial district that's south okay. tower oh wow okay. yeah well think it would be visible on clear days which would be like during spring and winter time um and also the bay bridge which is to the left of the city and holding is super far to the right of the city Wow. Did you guys drive through Golden Gate or? Uh, we came across the Bay Bridge. Oh, uh, the yeah. Bay Bridge. So you guys went to the left of it. Yeah. Wow. Um, and then this is my Akamas Mountain Range. I'm sure you straight ahead of us. And Napa proper would be just above it, so the city of Napa. Uh, and then essentially we're in the Mount Beater wine growing district. Yeah. So Mount Beater is one of the largest of Napa, but it only comes at least for about 2% of the total wine produced in Napa. So very little wine's grown up here. Um, so it's cool that you come to one of the few producers here. Yeah, that is really cool. The bottle is just like so pretty. Wow, wow, wow. Love a shard. Wow, look at that bird. Yeah. Did you get him? I tried. I think so. Just a wow, little thank you so much. Yeah, so thank you. I feel like every time we come here, we find something else insane this is insane yeah the old burn tree there. yeah wow this is just like unbelievable hydration cheers to hydration oh my god and we're still in our fire season until uh, I hope know, it's not a fire. Oh no. Oh Frank. Hi Frank. Oh hey. <laughs> that is so cute. Deviled Egg Daddy. What's the name of this place? Our Ar Baritum. The beef balls are good. Arboretum. Arboretum. What do you think? Good? Yeah. I think this was a good call. I think so too. Leave it to me to go shopping in Napa and buy a ghost. Isn't he so cute? Cutest. Don't you love him? He's adorbs. He's so cute. What are you gonna name them? I don't know. What's like a wine name? We could think about it. And we'll we think could, about we it. Come back when we have one. And we'll name him. Oh my god, he's so cute though. I can't wait. I'm gonna put him next to the bat that you bought me in my room. Nice. Make these little Buttons. ghoul friends. Get it? Girlfriends. The ghoul, ghoul friends. Oh my god, I love him. Oh, he has a name. It's Douglas. <laughs> The cuddle toy. Is it really? That's the worst name. No, I'm sorry. The the toy company it's is Douglas. Douglas, and he is a ghastly ghoul. A ghastly ghoul. We're all ghastly gassy ghouls over here. Fit right in. Oh, I like that. You look like a glass of peanut butter water. What are you gonna have? All right, so I'm gonna try. The peanut butter one is the colorful one. Peanut butter and jelly, chocolate. Look at that bad boy. It's staining my fingers. Is it? Oh my god, it is. Is it good? Here. You're sharing with me? I'm a sharer. Wow. Wow. That's pretty good. It tastes like a crustable. Uncrustable? Oh my god, those are unbelievable. After my time. Oh, sorry. Do you want me to film you trying yours? Mm -hmm. Do you want to try my hazelnut one? No, it's fine. Oh, why not? I'll share it with you. Okay. And then we should share the other one too. What's the other one? Pineapple. The pineapple one? That's not the pineapple one, I don't this think. Hazelnut. You told me this was the pineapple one. Mm. Okay, well, we're gonna try it anyway. Mm. Probably good. It tastes like Nutella. Yeah, it's really good, actually. You want it? No, eat it. I'll go back to it's in your mouth. <laughs> I would eat it out of your mouth, but. I like that there's an actual hazelnut in it. Mm. I like the PB&J better. 
I like the PB&J one better too. All right, should we try this last one? Sure. Or no? Mystery one. It like tastes like I should know what it is. Like so familiar. But I don't know what the hell that is. So you tell us what that is. It tastes like something I eat regularly. It's pineapple. See? It is pineapple. I told you. Well you told me really. But I like that one. That was my second favorite. Okay, so your least favorite was the hazelnut one. I mean the hazelnut one was very good, but it's just like a regular chocolate. Like I love chocolate. It's not every day that you get a PB and J chocolate. No, I get it. Your favorite? Was PB and J. Yeah. My favorite was what? Duh. We always like the opposite. But you said you like the PB and J. I do like the. Than the no, I like. I, I don't. I just feel like I like the PB and J. It was like kind of like novelty, but if I'm going for chocolate, I like I like a chocolate chocolate. And then what was your second favorite? I think the pineapple one. So I wasted half my PB and J on you. <laughs> Sorry. Let's do our recap. As long as they can hear us, I we don't have a microphone. I wouldn't send anybody that's new to, to Maya Thomas. Way out of the way. It's at the top of Mount Beater. The property is beautiful. I think the wines were okay. They weren't bad by yeah. any stretch, but they were okay. I don't know if they were worth the journey. The view was worth the journey. Mm -hmm. The view the was, worth the was worth the journey. Yeah, yeah. A, like you can get stranded up there, so you have to add like the complexity of figuring how to how to get out of there, not yeah. to get there, but how to get out of there mm -hmm. because they have no service up there. I don't think it's like a beginner. If you're a beginner and you're going to Napa, we know what we're going to say. Don't go here. Leave it to the experts like us. Oh, <laughs> I thought you, I thought for sure it was going to be a Sterling plug-in because that's always your go-to. No, no. No, it wasn't a sterling pitch. It's just, it's not. I pitched it for you. you know, a lot of other places that are easier to get to uh -huh. that have wine that's just as good. Right. That, you know, you can enjoy the views from, like sterling. Yeah. Now that you brought it like up. Like sterling. And it's a lot more approachable, I think, than this place, which is like hidden and like there's anxiety in getting there and anxiety in getting out. Or maybe I'm just anxious. I think we're all anxious so over here on this side of the. The river. Okay, so you're saying to save Maya Kamis for when you've been here once or twice. You and you've got, done you want to mix it up. And you want to mix it you up. You want to mix it up. You want to be a little bit adventurous. We like to be adventurous. Yeah, I don't know. I put Maya Kamis in the ballpark of like Quintessa. Okay, which one did you like better? And I would say I like Quintessa better. I liked Quintessa better too. I feel like you could put a really good beginner trip together or first time trip together yeah. without Maya Kamis, I guess is all I'm saying. Okay, I respect that. Yeah, and then it was kind of a headache to come back and then have to find a car service for the net for tomorrow and I'm Sunday. Take us off that same mountain. Yeah, because Mount Veter apparently is a very remote place. We saw cool stuff. We saw yeah. the dog. Yeah, the dog was Frank. cool. Frank was cute. Frank, the sheep herding dog. The sheep we was cool sheep. too. That was cool. We, we smelled a lot of bay leaves. We saw some bay leaves. Look, yeah. look, 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 look. I have. That smell amazing. I have the one that you... Very witchy. Very witchy. It doesn't really smell like anything anymore though. Yeah, it's kind of lost its scent, but... He but gave I have... us a bunch of bay leaves to cook with as we go home. Look. Yeah, look. <laughs> oh, these are potent. Um, don't drop them though. They will blow away. Don't. Get them, get them, get them. Those smell really good. They still smell better this afternoon. Thank you so much. It's lit. Oh, it's so cute. We got our iced tea, meatballs, salad. That salad looks good. And Mike ate all the bread. Protesting? I will not be part of this content.
<laughs> I'm not, I'm not. Right, smooth operator, let's go. <laughs> Looks like leafy greens. It must be like a healthy salad. That is more up my alley. A healthy salad? What does that mean? It looks like a salad, but it's pasta. But you take your own. All right. You've been throwing food all over I'm going to throw food right? all over you. That looks good. I got polpetta, poltine. What did I get all over me? Polenta. Polenta. Can you see? We're like in a cloud. How spooky. Very fitting for spooky season. It's chilly out. Oh my God, this is crazy. Do you want to do an OOTD with me? No, because I hate my OOTD. You hate your OOTD? Let's see if I can improve my OOTD. Why? Did I, did I embarrass you with my OOTD again? Yes. I'm sorry. You need to apologize about me. I know, but I feel bad because you keep being dressed. And then I just keep one up at you. Oh, I like that. Is that new? Well, this is what I'm wearing. I'm done. Um, we're getting picked up in seven minutes, just FYI. I'm glad the sun came out. Wow. Some guy. Take some goodies. Wow. It's like picturesque. Yeah. Awesome. It does look so awesome. That looks so good. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Except I don't know how to drive this thing. That's the problem. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Tell so what do you think? What a time. The wines are really good. I agree. I like all of the reds. I think I like the first 2019, the Trinity Rouge, and the 2012 the best. What do you think? I like the Trinity Rouge and the 2019. I knew this wasn't top of your list, and you tried to cut it from the list a couple times, but I, I really wanted to come here, yeah. Oh, wow. I really wanted to well, come here. I mean, first reaction, I think these wines are the best we've tasted so far. I agree. And I mean, this food's very good. It is really good. Meatball sandwich. Who would have thought? It's so cute, too. I love that they have... Grenache on here. Mm. Cool uh huh. Mm. This is so good. Wow. Did you take a sip after biting the sandwich? Mm. Wow. That like it makes it pop. Wow. That's really good. That's wild. I love that she just like left the wines here and told us to just pour whatever we want also. She seems like a really good balance. Of Carissa? Like, I like her. Yeah, really good balance of like being knowledgeable and yeah. not like too, too much. Because I feel like at some of the vineyards, some of the hosts are just like trying to like push so much of like the vineyard on you. Yeah. And like, you know, the brand and like yeah. all that. Like, yeah. She told us some really cool stuff. The wines are really good. And then she's like, enjoy it. Like, right. That's really cool. Yeah. No, I love Great it. Pick. I'm glad I really wanted to come here. Right. I'm glad that I really wanted to come here and I didn't let you bully me out of it is really what you should be saying. <laughs> oh, 
are. You know what I tell you. Cheers. Whatever we are, as long as I'm with you, I'm happy. Amen to that. So these are your favorite wines thus far? I think so. Like collectively? Yeah, me too. Produce out here. Yeah. It's just like so much better than at home. Yeah. Look at this egg. That's a good egg. That's the best deviled egg I've ever had. And of course they gotta pull the mm. ricotta from Italy. Wow. Every three days. That's crazy. Yeah, delicious, right? That's a lot of ricotta. No, you think otherwise. You're like, uh, how's that there's, plate down? There's no such thing as a lot of regard. I don't know, man. Cheese just, I love it, but it doesn't love me back. That looks really good, though. Is that a tomato? Yeah, look like a stewed tomato. I love the stewed tomato. I love any kind of tomato. Well, I'll try this because it's amazing. Number two for the day. Wait. Clue all. What do you mean, wait? Staff. Staff. Oh, we're gonna rate progeny. progeny. Property. It was really pretty. Two or three. I would say two. Carissa, three. Yeah, Carissa, three. The wines, I'd give a three, two. Any extras? No extras, right? Yeah, she did. She poured us extra. No, no, that's an extra wine, but like extras on the property. Like yesterday, we had the dog. Oh, no. We had the sheep. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice view, but it's not like the view from the last two days. But it's such a beautiful day out. And I like this little like setup here. This is cute. And you're handsome to look at. Thanks, man. Cheers. You're always on the <laughs> I didn't know we were on the vlog. That's the point. We're just sitting here with our friends. Mm. That's the vibe. They didn't capture the scent though. No, I, I eat the scent every the time. Not I nice. ate I mm. ate it in the car. You know, I don't I don't ever remember you vlogging while you walk around the house belching like you do. That's true, I do walk around the house belching. I'm not denying it, but you're not vlogging when I'm belching. I'm vlogging when you're belching. Apparently so. <laughs> I brought you into this world. I will take you out. <laughs> wow. You, know, you definitely have a lot better palate than I do. Maybe I belong in this world. Maybe you do without me. Maybe this is my world and you're just living in it. It's a Tim McGraw song. In case anyone knew the reference. I doubt it. <laughs> Who? How dare this man? cheat on my banana bread with the banana how you come to Napa and you get a banana bread I wanted to compare the banana bread to see let me tell you something nothing compares to my banana bread well this banana bread starts with a little bit of walnuts on every top it looks like it's put, off to a good start every time I put extras in the banana bread you poo poo them so how dare you I bet it doesn't taste as natural do you want an end piece or a middle piece I want a middle piece please I can't even I don't even want a piece it smells good. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, banana baby. Wow. No. Wow. Mine's better. That is the second best banana bread I've ever had. 
Right, because what's the first? Just one that I had in this little bit. No. <laughs> this tastes more artificial than my banana bread. Oh, really? I mean, yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, how dare you, This right banana now. bread is very sweet. Mine's not sweet. It's like right. hearty. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a banana. And I mean, anybody that knows banana bread wants a hearty banana bread. My banana bread. Right. Like, if I were to say, hey, do you want sweet banana bread or hearty banana bread? Are you mocking People my banana say, bread? People would say, definitely give me a hearty banana bread. I want my hearty banana bread to taste like a minestrone. <laughs> <laughs> I love your banana bread. I'm serious. Is it I better than this? I really do. This is very sweet, and this is different. This is obviously not healthy or good for you. And this is why I continue to look terrible. Which one is better is what we're asking, and you're skirting. They're not better. It's not better or worse. My, it's different. Mine is better. Mine is better. Mine's better. So aggressive. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're at barn house. I have a coffee flight. Mum's cookies, hazy days. A lot of my days are hazy, if we're being honest. Center Sandman, also relevant. Also relevant? And Lotus. What'd you get? A white chocolate cherry latte. Yuck. Delish. Doesn't sound like my palate at all, sure, I'll it's try definitely it. not, you're gonna hiss. Okay, I love hissing. That's terrible. We got Mum's cookies. Hazelnut, toasted marshmallow, white chocolate, and espresso. I think that one is my favorite. We've tried all of them. I was say, it looks like you tasted these already. We've tasted them, sorry. Hazy Days, vanilla, milk chocolate, and hazelnut. That's good, it's like more mellow. I'll pass. Okay. Thank you. Sandman, can you hear me? I don't know. Who cause... let the dogs out? <laughs> wow, what a pretty dog. Oh my God, I didn't even see him in there. White chocolate, vanilla, lavender, and espresso. You try it. I already know, but yeah. it's like very sweet. Here you go. Too sweet for my palate. Mm. You could have that. It's yours. I like the first one. The first one is my least favorite. Mom's cookie. Well, we always like the opposite. <laughs> my head is always cut off in these videos. Oh my God. Hello, You were the everyone. one that placed the camera there. I, mean, I can't place it back much further. Well, get a smaller head. I mean, my head is small. Oh, this theory. tastes fake to me. It doesn't taste fake. I don't like that at all. Popeye. <laughs> Overly wined and caffeinated. I kind of feel like a zombie. Right. Cheers from Outfinders. Cheers. <laughs> Dilly Dally? Yeah. I'm Dilly Dallying? You're doing the and I gotta go. Oh God, I'm so sorry. What a beautiful day. What a glorious day. What did you say? You can't smell me. You can't smell me freshy. can't smell freshy. How dare you? How dare you? supposed to be at Del Dodo and what happened I put the reservation time incorrectly in my calendar very organized on this trip and when we were getting in the car Del Dodo called me and to ask me where we were and I was like we'll be there in 20 minutes and she's like well you're already 15 minutes late wow what was the precursor to that what did you say yesterday I was upset and I didn't want to go to Del Dodo <laughs> So, but now I'm upset that we didn't get to go to Del So the, un the universe said, Psh, now you don't have to go. I know. You said you but didn't want to come. But now I'm sad because we're only go. going to one winery today. That's okay. But Things happen. We'll figure them out. So instead we're going to do episode two of Candy by the River. Earth and sky chocolates. I don't know if we said the chocolates that we were eating. I'm your co-host, Michael D'Angelo. And this is the mostly lovely fortune Annabella. <laughs> <laughs> but you had a chocolate without us. Which one did you have? 
Um, well, that's another story that I don't know if I want to tell you right now. Why? Honest. Did you eat one of mine? Accidentally, yes. Which one did you eat? Well, yesterday when we were down by did you eat the river in episode one, what did we say that we had? Pineapple? Right. And it wasn't pineapple. What was it? I just definitely had the pineapple. So then what the hell did we have? And we had the bananas foster. Oh, was that a banana? I think so. I picked that chocolate for you, really. So okay. that's okay that you ate it. Well, I appreciate it. But I love it. that you didn't save me half. Well, the to even like try, right? And that's why I don't <laughs> want to bring this up because I didn't just bite it like I should have. I just popped it in my mouth and squished it, and so I'm sorry. It's now, funny. I mean, had you been in here, I could have shared it with you, but I mean, I was literally right out there. You yeah, but I don't know that would have been safe for the camera if I had to squish chocolate in my mouth. There's not. There's limited ways for me to. Oh, share I get you. what you're saying. Yeah. You, you would baby bird me. Oh, yeah, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. So what do we have? Oh, is that my alarm? Yes, it's your I alarm. I turned that off. Hopefully we're not late for another appointment. I'm going to do the bourbon one. I'm going to do the jasmine one. Are we sharing though? Or sure. am I just popping no, this let's share. Let's in share. my mouth? Look at how pretty this share is. Share is the right way to do this, I think. So pretty. Oh, right. Now that I'm here and you have a bite That's of mine, mine, now you share. Bourbon. Bourbon. Cheers. Cheers. Could have been wine tasting right now. But we're not. Wow. That tastes like tea. This tastes like bourbon. Am I gonna hiss though? Probably. I don't like that. Wow, that's really interesting. You have it. Here you have it. Mm -mm. We have espresso and creme brulee left. Mm. Unless you eat them on us. We'll do that tomorrow. Okay. All right, finders. I don't call them that. Oh, anymore. sorry. You They're guys aren't friends. finders anymore. You're They're their friends. own identity. Bye, friends. You love to blow a kiss. All right, man, you guys enjoy. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. You have a great day. All right, take two. I was asleep You were asleep? That guy was so nice. And I liked his jazz music. I like Napa on a moody day. Yeah, I It's like really pretty. You could see the colors more. Wow. So this is everything here right now is 2024? Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. So we make only two wines of this one. Yep. Of this one and then over here. Okay. And that's all what we have currently over here. So because we just arrived at the end of the uh, harvest, all those uh, barrels you see are by uh, lots. We keep them separated by lots. And wow. then next year, early next year, the winemaker and his team, they're going to take a composite sample from those different lots, bring them to the lab, testing them and start to work on the final blend of the Got it. Wow. And That's when awesome. they uh, find the, that final blend, then whatever else will be left, we go into the original of our second wine. Got it. Okay. Wow. This is so cool. So that's, I guess that's akin to Harlan and the main. Here we are at Opus One. I was very impressed by your knowledge of Opus One when we were in the cave about how you know they're different styles of wine. It was a turn on, I'll be honest. All right, which one do you want to try first? The 2019? We can read them together and decide together. That's how we serve them. So if they're not used to tasting it one side by side, you start sipping on 19, a wine that's okay, four and a half years, five and a half years in a bottle. Yeah. All of a sudden, you start losing appreciation for overture pretty quickly. These wines are kind of, they're meant to, in a way, improve yeah. and grow in bottle. Overture is the one that's ready. Right. Yeah, in my right. mind, most of the people that yes. are wait up to them, I'm thinking, like, well, I know at wines are here, you're probably supposed to take overture, don't take anything from us. Right. But the longer you sit here, the yeah. further away the palate you're is from go. overture. Yeah. So, I mean, starting okay. there might be of, of great value, okay. but compare it. This is the version of Opus 1 2021 that we built strategically for immediate enjoyment. Yeah, Can you keep it? Sure, but it's never going to evolve like that. Well. 2019 versus 2021. Different growing seasons, time and bottle. Right. What is that? Yeah. I think it's so much fun to explore. Yeah. Excellent. And, you know, we're, yeah. we can root for you on the sidelines, or if you want to get tackled, we can tackle whatever, whatever you need, you know? I think that's but fine. By and large, it's kind of fun just to sit back and yeah. How often do you have all this open? Yeah, exactly. Right. Thank you awesome. very much. Thank you so much. All right, so Overture 2021. Cheers. Cheers. It's a really nice blend.
good. Yes, for sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I said I would never come back here. This is our $55 glass of wine. I just feel like we need to put that on the record about how ridiculous that is. I feel like they should have poured it to like here. <laughs> At least, if not the brim. It never gets a good this view though, I'll say that. Hmm. Until it's a maelstrom of fire. Always has to ruin it. You always have to ruin it. And you're trying to get your cat to get out. I'll get my cat. Everyone saw how I got my cat when I thought there was a tornado. We all saw that. I scooped him in his bed and he was in the basement in 0.2 seconds. It, not even a second went by. That's true. I feel like we should be going to a Tim McGraw concert. Do you feel that? I feel that. I'm not feeling that. He's not feeling that. Okay. Which tier would you rate this on our new tier? I mean, this is a five, but that doesn't mean I'd want to come here. It's just a tier five. In terms of like bougeness? Yeah, like it's like very hard to get into, very kind of exclusive, blah, 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 all that. But I mean, I don't think, like I felt like Quintessa was a lot more worth the exclusivity. Than yeah, this. I agree. This was like all about the wine it and not like about, to me. yeah, very like, yeah, money making. This was like all about the wine and not so much about the experience. Like it was like, look at the wines that we make. They're so good instead of like, this is how we make our wine. It's organic. This is the earth. We care about the earth. Here are our sheep. It wasn't my kind of Napa vibe, but that's why we come to different places and try different places to get the vibe so that we can tell people. Show them Oakville Grocery where we're gonna go next. Where is that? Oh, is it that, that little white, lighthouse? White, white building. We're gonna go there for for lunch. Snack. Snack. A little sneak. A little sneak. Cheers. Cheers. Fresh from the vine. Mm, that's really good. good. Better than the one we had yesterday. Very sweet. Very sweet. Yesterday it was a bit bitter. Mm. I had three pits, three seeds. I only had one. Did you? Yeah. The one I had yesterday had three in it also. Oh my god, the one I had yesterday only had one in it too. Is this an olive tree? Oh my god, babe. Grab those olives. Are you serious? Yeah, can you grab them? I need a Pocahontas moment. We're choosing these now too? <gasps> are these poisonous? These are Giganda. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know if these are. I hope they're not poisonous. <laughs> That's huge. Nope. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh God. I feel bad. We picked it and it wasn't ready. That was so sour. My tongue is like. Good my content is though. Like all like fluffy, <laughs> fluffy. Yeah. I feel like my tongue feels like Brogan's tail and he gets scared. It is like fluffy tongue. 
Wow, so pretty though. This doesn't smell like anything. I'm like determined to sniff all the leaves. All right, let's stand over there. Let me try and get some more of these shots. Okay. This is so cute. We should get wine here, no? Yeah. California. We love it. We love to see it. Sandwich. I like the deviled eggs. You picked it. I know. Mm. So they pour different wines every day. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to pick from what's ever in the case. They chill different wines every night and then pour them the next day. Mm. Did you see the nickel and nickel on there? Mm -hmm. I thought for sure you were going to come out with that. Mm. I did see the Nickel Nickel, but it wasn't any of the ones that I remember mm. us liking, so I didn't pick it. Grazie. Oh my god, it's super cute. I love all the wine bottles. Oh my god, it's sick. Good. Your peaches and cream. It has bay leaves in it. Oh, I love bay leaves. Can I smell them? Oh. Mm -hmm. Love it? Mm -hmm. Nice. Crab ravioli. What kind of pasta is that? That looks good. Well, you don't get any on you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bumping. I don't know. We built this place in a Swiss kind of theme to it as well, which I love the fleur de lis that they have. Uh, yeah, they're, they're really pretty. Uh, when this was first built, so they were stained glass, so it felt more like a monastery. Yeah. Than anything yeah, else. yeah. So they brought a little bit more light and uh, did custom windows for those as well. That's cool. Oh, this is so pretty. Water is beautiful. It's well, we so beautiful. Today. I'd love to Here are 2,000 feet elevation, right around the corner from the villa you might have saw driving yep. up. You can actually see a portion of the vineyard. If you go down this uh, tree line here, mm -hmm. you'll see a vineyard that's sloping oh, to the south. With like a triangle? Yes. So that's going to be the Wordle property. We have about 20 acres down there as well. Oh, that's and cool. It's really cool to see that we have one block uh, a 1,000 feet away from the other, and it really makes for uh, the dynamic of the wild. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So we focus a lot on Cabernet uh, back home uh, in our cellar. Yeah, we like drinking Cab for sure. Yeah, we love a Cab. I'm from Sonoma County, so I'm kind of born around you know country as well. Mm -hmm. So if you're ever looking to uh, diversify your trip with uh, other varietals, definitely uh, lend your ear to me. <laughs> so beautiful in here. These all look really good too. Could you imagine like having a dinner party in here? This is sick. The nuts are good. Yeah, the nuts are Are you going to eat that? Mm-hmm. Good. Why? Because I thought maybe you wouldn't because it's foie gras. Isn't that a duck liver? No, it's not. It's mushroom. It's oh. It's foie gras. Fake. Fake gras. Yeah. It's All right, well, cheers. Mushrooms. Which one are you trying? The last, the last one? one? Cheers, baby. Love cheers. Me. Love you. Oh, wow. That smells like you're going to like it. It kind of smells like cola a little bit. Are you all right? <laughs> I 
Are you all right? <coughs> That's like very gravelly to me. I think I like the two. <laughs> Some water, please. I think I like the two middle ones. I think I like Spring Mountain and Howl the best. I think Mount Beater is my least favorite. Have you been doing the swishy thing with your mouth? That's how I choke. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like very like tanniny to me. It leaves like a coating of like dust on my tongue. What do you think? I can't ever relate to the, when you say the dust thing. You can't relate to the dust thing. I agree with you. I think that that's like very acidic. Uh, acidic? I think so. Yeah. So do we have any dinner plans in downtown Napa tonight? Tonight's the one night that we didn't book a dinner. Okay. So we don't know what we're going to do. Usually when we land on Wednesday, we go to Gott's. Sure. Grab a oh, burger God, after God, getting so. off the plane and we skipped it and I'm like, oh, we'll just go to, we'll try this food truck instead. They're open today, so mm -hmm. I just feel compelled to grab a chicken sandwich from there. Absolutely. But I don't know what we're doing for dinner. If you're looking to uh, supplement that uh, burger that you were anticipating, mm -hmm. the best cheeseburger in Napa Valley is at the Charter Oak here in St. Helena. We, we ate there, did we get but the I didn't get the burger. We didn't no. get the burger. Mm -hmm. Oh man, um, that's... we ate there in April when we were here. Oh really? Yeah. yeah, and we didn't. I didn't get the burger. It's to die for. It's your best, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I love God's is fantastic. I love sending people to uh, Chichio in Yonville. Never heard of that. Okay. Uh, brand new restaurant. I think it's been just over a year open. Approachable, but also fine dining, so you don't feel like out of place. Very small, very quaint, and they do have a lot of tables. So it's a little loud. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. But, but their rustic Italian is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Pastas, their pizzas, their appetizers and salads, all phenomenal. He constructed tiramisu for dessert, and it's just, I don't even have a Perfect. sweet tooth whatsoever. Uh -huh. uh, I do for that. I, I do for that, absolutely. Nice. But when it comes to French food, I think Bistro Gentil knocks it out of the park. Okay. And it is very approachable. Uh, the staff is so incredibly nice. And the food is just classic, yeah. um, with being very high end at the same time. Yeah. Have you been to, where did we go the other night? The French place, Angel. Oh yeah, Angel? absolutely. So a little bit more seafood based than anything mm -hmm. else. Calamari, the, the, yeah. they usually have a trout dish as well, which yeah. is very unique. Did they have a trout dish? It was on there, we didn't get it, but it was, yeah. I did see it on there. I didn't yeah. even Trout's kind of like, it's kind of like duck. It's like you're either 50-50 on mm -hmm. it, but the okay. trout is phenomenal. I love a no tree, which is also a rustic Italian. We love we a no tree. tree. We didn't we really like, like Scala. No? Okay. Yeah. I think maybe we didn't pick the right things. Both times we've been to Scala. We always get put in they like They bury us crappy. upstairs and I feel like the it's... tables up there are terrible. So yeah, they're terrible I, and the they... sound like reverberates. <laughs> No, I love a no tree. I love like just I love their menu. Their wine list is phenomenal. St. Helena, there's also a new place called uh, Charlie's Napa Valley. Um, very small, very quaint. It used to be a place called Cindy's Backstreet Kitchen, which was kind of for the people than anything else. Seafood based than anything. Oh, Cute. Seafood. Uh, I love seafood too. Yeah. And so it's no, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Not a not a fantasy food, I'm guessing. I like shellfish. I used to love shellfish, but I got very sick from oysters two summers ago. Oh, uh, so kind of. I got something called a vibrio. No. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. My friend got that. Uh, it wasn't born. Yeah, no. no, not at all. And so I've kind you of been turned off. You were sick for like off. two weeks. Yeah, I've kind of yeah. been like turned off a little bit. Really enjoy shellfish, shrimp, lobster, oysters, mussels. I will say the best mussels in all of Napa is down at Cook St. Helena. So chorizo and uh, mussels. Oh, sounds delicious. Oh god, and it has this like very light broth on top, so you just soak it in with that bread at the bottom too. Mm. It's to die for. Can we talk a little bit about Mount Veeder, and then I have something fun on the side for us to uh, try as well. But uh, Mount Veeder, this is going to be. I mean, Chris will never say that this is his staple. This is you know kind of his claim to fame. But there's a reason it's last on the list. Um, and Mount Veeder, I mean, we've had Maya Thomas before. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing about Mount Veeder is that there are three valleys that push all that initial wind from the bay upwards. This is the fruit that takes the longest to ripen. So the longer you can hang the fruit on the vine without it over ripening, the best Cabernet is gonna provide. Mm -hmm. But with this wine, much like Spring Mountain, you're gonna find that the fruits are a little darker, violet and lavender, and maybe just a hint of licorice as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not fruit driven, it's more uh, flowery and complexity like that. But then when you taste this wine, the tannin and the acidity are so high, you can yeah. see where the ageable qualities really lie in anything from Mount Peter. I find this wine to be kind of like a ballerina. It has beautiful elegance to it, but also ballerinas are the most muscular people in the world. So it yeah. has power yeah, yeah. but grace all at the same time. I like it more with the food. It changes. I started eating the food, the it taste. changed everything. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a little bit of a cheat, I will say. 
It's like if I'm having oysters, I want a little champagne, a little bit of that breadiness to come through and just interact with the minerality of the yeah. oyster itself. Like it's softer now that I'm eating, but when I tried it before eating, it was like the punchiest out of all of them, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And these, these wines have been open for 16 hours. The fruit has gotten a little bit more elevated because it's had so much mm -hmm. oxygen to uh, break it apart more than anything else. You know, I feel on the how like the cherries were very well, like I can smell that. I'm not, I'm not very good at that. Yeah, yeah. Usually, but no, it's very cherry. <clears throat> My favorites are the um, Spring Mountain and the Howl. Like I said, there's always no. For once, I agree with you. That's like actually That's, shocking. That is shocking. We picked the same wines. Yeah, this is really good. <laughs> the Howl Mountain. I love the fact that those are your two favorites because for me they're polar opposite. So it just sounds like with Cabernet, you can go in a lot of different directions. Right. Like I said, what yeah, I like too. No, ma. I thought it was AO. AOA? AOA. AOA. <laughs> oh, it smells really good. Long this muscle idea I made it from uh, Burgundy. Uh, Where is the best the vineyard all about the, this land? About this all, night, it's this... all from here. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So today we're gonna go through this this panoramic, this beautiful wine. Do you want to take a picture? Take a picture of you over there. Okay. Yeah, Whatever you want. Take a picture and then we can take one maybe over okay. there. Okay. Sure. You wanna go over there? I'll go wherever you tell me to go. Go over there. Where? Right there. Put your camera away. Okay, I'm gonna. I but like. We we all want to see it though. Sorry, I won't. Oh wow, this is so cool. Good barrel tasting yeah. and stuff like that. Right, but our wine is more elegance than a finesse. Okay. We don't use French oak. Okay. So that's a very Only different. American oak. What do you no. use? Austrian no. oak. Austrian oak. Well, I don't want to do it too much. Don't don't ruin it. <laughs> Wow, this is like stunning you're though. Gonna feel it. You're going to learn it and then if you feel resonated, love to have yours again. <laughs> Here for sure. This is so pretty. Yeah. And uh, there's a Fanny Inge, the winery there. Do you know Fanny Inge? Oh wow. Mm -hmm. It was nice and cool in here. Oh, it smells really good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh wow, this is so pretty. Oh, cool. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> you feel like you are traveling to Europe. Yeah. Wow, yeah, this is so nice. Mm -hmm. Wow, I can't get over how good it smells in here. We have one more here. Thank you so much. Cheers. Nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Oh, I'm sorry. It's very good. That is really good. how young it is. I know. Don't worry, it just takes another a year, you know, a year in the bottle, at least in two years. Does it tr change dramatically? Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Wow, this is so nice. Are you having a good time? Yeah. It smells so good. We haven't figured out how to capture scent on social media. I really think that we should, and I also really think we should come up with a vineyard perfumery. Yeah. Could you imagine? I can. I'm going to take a pic that picture of it. Okay. I just want to get this for everybody. I want them to be able to feel like they're here with us. And I also want to watch this back and feel like I'm still here. Yeah. When I'm not here, because oh my god, this is like amazing. What at, is that? Look at this. Chicken and cheddar bite. A chicken and cheddar bite? I'm gonna take a bite. It's hot. Don't scorch your face. 
Wow. That is good. Spicy. Is it? I think maybe the dip. It's really good though. Follow the hot man to dinner. Oh, I almost just walked into that pole. to start at the Sweetwater and if you go down the list, awesome. it'll just go that way. Awesome, thank you so much. Cool. Thanks very much. Daddy doesn't eat oysters anymore. These are all for me. Get it girl.